everybody, my name is Sonic, and welcome to another reaction video. Alright, in this reaction video, we're checking out, yep, another reaction video for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And let's check out this video here, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Mr. Sakurai Presents Hero. There he is, boy right, man, that guy. Huh. A hero draws near. Yeah, the new hero character I saw from the like E3, you know, live reaction stream. I'm still trying to upload that. Oh, apparently, that's new. Upload soon, but what am I saying? Yeah, that was their live reaction stream over when I saw this at the E3 press conference in the Toe Direct. Anyways, yeah, this came out update version 4.0 will begin distribution on July 30th. Yeah, it's way past July 30th as of me recording this. It's two days after July 3rd, August 1st. But anyways, yeah, I saw this. I was going to go around to seeing this. Still need to go around uh, doing stuff with Super Smash Bros. Uh, and, you know, just knowing me and like, trying to find more efficient ways with uploading and editing stuff. You even said that since my second vlog, I was going to try and put videos up for Smash Bros. Still trying to do that. Hopefully I can get that before the end of summer. I, yeah, that's what I was planning on doing, but... Anyways, let's check out what this hero draws near. It's the whole point of this video. Reaction video. Was I speaking clearly? I hope you could understand every word I just said. Because if you can, could not understand every word I just said, then... Wow. I guess I was mumbling. Sorry about that. Anyway, check out this video already. Here we go. Do that. Hello everyone, I'm Masahiro Sakurai, the director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game from Sora Limited. Long time no see. Hello. The hero okay. from Dragon Quest is joining the battle, mm -hmm. and that means I have some new information to share with you. Usually, we prepare a script for Nintendo Direct, and we have editors put various cuts together, but this time, I'd like to take more of a live stream approach and present oh. it myself. Wait, what? This was live at the time don't it was have much aired? Of a budget for this. Ah, While what I the discuss, heck? I'll be playing with the controller as well. That's I funny. Hope you enjoy it. All right. Funny. But before we get into it, I should mention that the Dragon Quest series began in 1986. It's an iconic Japanese role-playing game. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that Dragon Quest was what popularized RPGs in Japan. The music. And beyond that. It's a top-notch game that's become a cultural phenomenon. Mm -hmm. The latest entry in the series is Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of the Elusive Age Definitive Edition, which is releasing soon on Nintendo Switch, so please look forward to it. Today, I'll be playing the development version of the ROM, so there may be parts where the camera seems different from the version you have at home. Ah. I hope you understand. Okay. Sure thing, Sakurai. Passive Challenger Pack 2, you drop there! Here's a lineup of all four heroes. I think to some, this scene alone might seem pretty astonishing. This one is the hero from Dragon Quest XI S, the one that's releasing soon. The 16 year old was dubbed the Darkspawn, and he wields a weapon called the Supreme Sword of Light. Ah. Now for the hero from Dragon Quest 3. This is the hero Erdrick, Ooh. and he's 16 years old. Oh, they're all different heroes. He's equipped with different sword. Actually, Sequels. in 3 and 11, the hero's shield designs are almost identical. In the back, because I'm playing this game, of course. It's all in the details. Next, the hero from Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen. This 17-year-old is the ancestor of the bride from Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. He's equipped with the Zenithian sword. From Dragon Quest IV. Lastly, the hero from Dragon Quest VIII, Journey oh, of the Dragon Cursed King. King. An 18-year-old who isn't affected Dragon. by the curse. Munchie ah. is in his pocket. That's and as funny. a former hey. royal guardsman, he's equipped with the Dragovian King Sword. You're a terrible that in the said, pocket. it may be a bit tough to distinguish right. them using just the name Hero. So if you want to refer to each of them individually, here are their names. The Hero from 11S is 11. The Hero 11. from 3 is Arusu. The Arusu. Hero from 4 is Solo. And the Solo. Hero from 8 is 8. Just 8. eight. You can okay. use these names to reference them if you'd like. That's funny. Also, they each have a color variation. So that's who these guys were. The coloring and design of these variations are based on characters from the series. Can you guess who they are? I have no idea. 
Yeah. This is what actually the very you? first time that the heroes from the Dragon Quest series have been able to ah, fight each other. Will. It was allowed to finally happen in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and for that, I am very grateful. Ah, the each hero has a different voice actor, and I'd like to introduce them now. Here <laughs> they are. The hero from Eleven Ooh. is Mitsuki Saiga. This hero speaks in 11S, but the action in this game is different, so her voice acting needed a bit more oomph. Huh. The hero from 3 is played by Nobuyuki Hiyama. You might say the King of Raves is playing the hero, but he voiced Link in the original Super Smash Bros. and Super Smash Bros. Melee games, so oh. you could say he was already a hero. Okay. He's definitely a pro, and out of all Same the voice actors, actor. his voice recording actors. sessions went the fastest. Ah. The hero from 4 is voiced by Takeshi Kusao. He's a veteran voice actor and asks for a lot of detail on the backstory of his character, and this has carried over into his performance. Huh. Ooh. The hero from 8 Brilliant. is voiced by Yuki Kaji. It was apparently a dream of his to do voice work for the Super Smash Brothers and the Dragon Quest series, hey, so he was happy that? to have both dreams come true at once. Mm, that's nice. The heroes from 3, 4, and 8 are being voiced for the first time in the series, and calling huh. out the spell names is also the series first. What? Japanese looks acting. Now, let's get a look at these fighters in action. The animations are a bit more energetic than the standard sword users, since we aim to match the style of Akira Toriyama. The design. <laughs> Sometimes the hero smash attack results in a critical hit. It happens at random, but when it does, you'll perform it. I think it's just. Ah, ah, that's what Link does. Link just yells a lot. These critical hits actually match the look of critical hits in various installments of the series. Critical hits. Note the subtle nuances. Oh! The hero is equipped with a shield, which can block various projectiles. <laughs> Like Link could. Link had a shield. His forward tilt is a shield bash attack that can oh. also be used to block projectiles. Link doesn't shield bash. Nigga, from His neutral special is the Frizz family of spells. Frizz Frizz. Frizz What the heck? Frizzle. 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 Frizzle pop. And for Frizz. Oh, for, for, for Frizz. Okay. You can stop your charge in the middle by shielding, and then you can resume charging again. Later. Then you could store the full charge Turn until later. you're ready to unleash uh, it at any time. Okay, I'll store this. Charge for later. Even if you've charged up a Kafriz, nothing will happen if you don't have enough MP at the time. So be careful. Uh oh. EMP. Hero Magic side power. Produces zap I guess. Type spells. Enter power. the command quickly zap for a spell. zap, which is a good way to zap. keep opponents in check. Hold it down a little longer. Funny, it shows up on the top corner of the reach. screen. And if you charge it up all the way. You'll let loose a Kazak. Ah! Each of these spells Dude, will use your sword with lightning to power up your attack. Lightning attack. Spell, you like to spin. Next That's what Link does. Link spells, spins. Which can be used for recovery. I don't know. Performing attention. a short up special whoosh results in a spell. whoosh. Charging whoosh. it a little bit results in a swoosh. Whoosh. Up. And charging Build it up, up all the way results in a kaswoosh. Kaswoosh. You can only oh. store a charge with frizz type spells. A whoosh is fairly stunted, requiring only a little MP. A swoosh actually provides a bit more lateral movement. A kaswoosh allows you to recover even if you fall pretty far. Hmm. Also, right. whoosh type spells can blow enemies into the recovery air. move. Ah, blow them away. That way you can interfere with opponents. Ah, he falls down. Oh. Next is Hero's Down Special, Command Selection. Command Selection. His Down Special pulls up a random list of commands. Doing so allows you to use a spell or other move. Oomph simply raises your attack power. With a fully charged smash attack. Oh! That music in the background. Look at that. Now for Psycho. It increases the power of your next attack. Uh, 
Psycho. The difference between this one and Oom is that it can only be used once. Uh -huh. But the effect lasts until your attack finishes, even if you miss. I like how the trades do trade-offs. It reflects your opponent's spells and other How many attacks? reflectors do I see in this game? Seriously. Ah. If you both cast bounce, this will happen. Ah, what the heck was that? The effect of the reflect will be exponential. Oh god. Send a friend back at you. Yeah, reflect. Let you reduce your damage percentage. Restore health. Flame slash can spread damage to a wide area in front of you. Crackle slash can freeze opponents. It'll freeze them. I go smash. Accelerator significantly increases your speed. Very clearly fast. Oh, can you compete with sonic speed? Oh, Super sets off a mighty explosive spell. Super speed. Accelerate. Ooh, what the freak was that? Snooze puts opponents to sleep. <sighs> that way, Super you time. can follow it up with a beefy attack. Uh. Maybe something like Hatch. Peek. Oh, Tur. Uh, Jigglypuff already does that. And then that. there's Thwack. Rest. <laughs> This fearsome spell could potentially KO an opponent in one hit. However, the opponent's damage percentage will ultimately determine the effect. So if their damage percentage is low, it's less likely to activate. What was that? What was that? That was ridiculous. This spell Instantly is well KO somebody? As demonstrated, it lets you recover from anywhere, but you may hit your head Weird. on the ceiling. Wow. When you cast a spell, you become impervious to attacks. But watch out for a Metal Slash. Metal Slash is a skill that can KO a Metal Opponent in one Attack, man! One hit KOs, what's is a spell wrong with, with you? Unpredictable effects. Why? Oh, looks like it's going right. down. Focus, but not all focus. of its effects are bad. Sometimes good things what's happen What the heck, man? Why you got to come up with something like this? Magic first. As you can see, my MP is depleting rapidly because the spell uses all your remaining MP to deal massive damage. <laughs> the amount of MP you have will determine how effective it is. This and character, finally, ridiculous. Kamikaze. This spell produces kamikaze. an extremely powerful explosion. Oh god, no. But it also results in self-destruction. He has many yourself. different special moves. In fact, of all the fighters, Hero has the highest number of them in the game. Jeez, why would you kind of cause you blow you close yourself the command up? command selection before choosing a spell by pressing the R button. That way, you can try again and hope for a different set of spells. That's his final smash, man. Giga Slash. Oh god, That's no yep, this... Zap. This move calls upon all the past protagonists to lend the hero their power for one mighty blow. Yep, that was... that happened. Ooh. Fine. This attack has a high vertical range, and if it's within four in-game meters, it will land. Ooh. Really, man? Oh. Wow. Let's see them in action! What is wrong with this sucker? The command selection move is unlike any other in the game. It may be a bit hard to imagine how it works, so I'll fight a CPU opponent for a while. Time to play. Okay. You play by yourself in CPU. Hmm. The creator plays. Ooh, good to see him play for once. The creator. I'm fighting at Yggdrasil's altar. I'm the hero from 8, and the CPU is the hero from 4. The stage starts much? off on this platform, which begins to rise. Those gems. What the frick, the stage? You can use Frizz to keep opponents in check without charging. I'll use Zappo from a distance. Oh. Oh. We're gonna talk about it while playing. The CPU's counter attacks are pretty good. I think I'll try a command selection. You programmed the CPU, Steve. didn't you? Oh. Good stuff. Right. Kaboom. I am a little low on MP, so I'm going to attack to refill it. Oh, okay. But meanwhile, the CPU filled up their final smash. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Not going to let him use it. Ooh. Oh, not gonna come back. Do <laughs> your smells them. Oh! Oh, a critical hit. Soccer I watch playing this. Deal. This is showing us, us the character I'll in action. Go ahead and use accelerator. Ooh. What? And the final smash. 
Accelerator. Oh, Nice. Yep. We finished them off. Oops. Well, I used Hatchet Man. Oh, I ended move. up blocking your projectile with it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, oh. you, you did. You did. Oh. oh, platform. What about it? Is he going to do it? Oh, Ooh, he got me. What the heck, man? He let him go, dude. He was trying dude. to with his tackle slash, but he got me. Oh, he tried to counter. The screen, no less. <laughs> He tried to counter went off the screen. In Holy these free-for-all battles, it's pretty... Pretty what? Oh, time's up. Ah, time up. This is the Japanese version of the game that Sakurai is playing. It's his hero. They didn't play hero in Japanese. New stage, the yeah, Yggdrasil Altar. This stage is called Yggdrasil's well, Altar, and it's based like on the location of Dragon Quest XI no. S. For Dragon One difference is that the platform rises, which is very Super Smash Brothers. Well, because it's like Dragon Quest, Dragon Ball, and the hairstyles of some characters. Close by Cetacea. You know what I'm saying? After that, we'll be able to see all of Erdrea. Oh, the whole, whole entire place. The giant place. tree in the background is an important point in Dragon Quest XI S. That's cool. You can see a taco walking by. What is that little thing walking While the by? Is out there, some taco, sort of taco taco will appear. <laughs> Look at a little tiny thing, little blue thing. Ah! We just passed Arborea. There's a little blue. And you can blue see what looks like a rainbow bridge. The blue blob over there. And now we pass Havens above. Yeah. Okay. If I if I played these games, I'd know what this is, but I don't play Dragon Quest. Real cool though, seeing this character in here, because I love crossovers. Freaking blue. You'll see blue slimes appear in the background. Yeah, slimes. You'll yeah. see liquid metal slimes appear too. That's what they're called, those right? Slimes. Of course, I knew about those. Those are probably one of the common things you see from the series. The slimes. As we pass Cetacea again. Trademark, Dragon Quest character. Little slimes. We draw near to the giant tree. Freaking dragon. It's a tree. As we make our way up the tree. A tree. We can see a light, which Ooh. also appears in Dragon Quest XI S. Huh. So it's like the entire map, the entire world. And then we finally make our way back around. By yes. the way, there's something over here. Slimes. Oh, what is that? Sometimes a treasure chest appears on the stage, Ooh. as you can see here. What's this? Open, open it. it. Oh, you can? You get an item. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Great. But yeah. it could also be a trap. <laughs> oh, a trap. Like a fake smash wall. It's a trap. Ah! It's a mimic. What the freak? If you try your hardest, you might defeat it. You don't have to fight it, but if you manage to beat it. Ooh, he's letting the super. Was that him fighting it? Yeah, that's him fighting it. You get an item for killing it. You get an item, you get Although Yggdrasil's altar is based on the world of 11S, I felt it would be unfortunate to have only one or two songs from that game. That's cool. So instead, we decided to compile a collection of field and battle tunes for each game. Entire map's based on the world. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Players who have an emotional attachment to specific music tracks can use the My Music feature to pick their favorite ones to play. Of course, you can also enjoy them by using the sound test feature. You won't be able to select the famous prelude that way, but the end of the prelude will play during the hero's victory screen. We've also added other content, including some of the prelude. So Hero will be available on Tuesday, July 30th. Yeah. It's already past July 30th, so he's already available. If you have the Fighter's Pass, you should be able to get it right away. We're also planning to make him available individually for $5.99. Yeah. We're also adding in new Mii Fighter costumes. Please uh -huh. take a look. Ooh, all right. What you got this time, Sakurai? Veronica, 
Yeah, these are characters from Dragon Quest. Oh, Dragon Quest, what, seven? Oh, does, that, does that say seven? Erd, Erdrick? I don't know if I said that. Uh, who killed the ice climbers? What? Sword climber. Brawler, hello, martial artist. Dang, Ooh, look at those moves. Show me your moves. Show me your moves. It's like Captain Falcon slime hat. Uh, yeah, see, he just did it. Ha! There's Captain Falcon slime hat. Look at this. Ah, stupid duck on dog. Get out of here. Ooh, slap. Get back here. Like chasing it. Holy cow. I love that outro. Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm pretty sure I'll probably get that. Along with Hero, the version 4.0 update will also be available. Mm hmm. Yep, it's already out. You guys are probably playing it already. Of course, who hasn't? There will oh. now be a time limit on the final Smash meter. Huh? That'll make it harder to use your attack range to play a waiting game. So I think it's better to just use your final <laughs> Smash when it's ready. It I will like stick that. around for a while, and you'll be able to tell how long you have by That's using nice. the meter, which will deplete over time. All right, sounds good. New adventure mode difficulty. We're also Still trying to play that stupid mode. So Why? The battle's just too difficult for you to clear, or if okay. you simply want to have a relaxing time playing, this, please this try This mode's it out. fun. I'm still playing it, but yeah, we spectate mode features. Another new feature will let you try oh, and predict the winner during the Yes, spectate mode. thank you. You bring that back. Then oh, you can thank exchange you. Exchange the points you accumulate for an item. Yay. Even if your prediction is wrong, there's nothing to lose, so I suggest supporting fighters to your heart's content. <laughs> oh, online tournament! Ah! An online Don't tournament will also be added in. To enter an in game tourney, all you have to do is select the mode. The rules are preset, but they'll change periodically. I hope you enter these tourneys over and over. Rules will change periodically. We also plan to hold special we'll events from, from time to time. time. Ooh, I have to check those out. What's more, there are other new additions. We got like more of this now. Screenshots into the videos you edit. And being uh, able to get yeah, lazy, you need to hit that lava. Added to shared content. Shared content. Like music. Uh, Donkey Plus, Kong on that. Donkey Kong stage. Now. Hey, look Isabel, at those movies. Pokemon trainer. Pichu. And Pichu. Pichu. Hmm. Each one will be available in a yellowish package, so keep an eye out for them. Awesome. Finally, the fighter known as Hero will be distributed soon, but Dragon Quest XI S Echoes right. the Elusive Age Definitive Edition will release on September 27th, so please check that out as well. Hmm. Maybe? I don't know. We that tried could. a live stream like format this time, but I'm still not sure if we will do this every time a new okay. fighter is released. It was live streaming. This was a live stream. Wow. Regardless, I hope Didn't you have fun that. with Hero. Wish I saw this when it was live. See you next time. See you next time, Sakura. Yay! Bye. Thanks for showing that. Hero. Yeah, I remember seeing him when I saw the Nintendo Direct or E3, my E3 live reaction stream. Yeah. I was actually live stream and I'm still trying to upload the segment parts of that live stream on my YouTube channel. So there you have it. That was the version. Here it is down here, version 1.0. Everything you just said is all listed down here. Yeah. I know that was the previous version right here. Yeah, Joker. Mm -hmm. There's a new, yeah, the new thing for, yeah, here it is, Amiibo Journey Mode. New Amiibo Journey Mode. That was version 2.1. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff that I'm freaking... I still need to get a chance to play myself. Too busy with other stuff. Just... Yeah. Being a content creator is not easy. It's hard. It's hard to try and create content and then edit and upload the video. But it comes with a lot of experience. So yeah, I'm sure anyone who's a content creator knows where I'm what knows what I'm talking about, knows where I'm coming from, so all right, that was fun. Liked watching that. No, I could watch We just saw that. Extra Mew Fighter costumes round two. Yeah, just saw this. We saw this within this over here. So yeah, here's that thing again. 
right here there it is that was at e3 live react like during my live reaction stream that was at nintendo direct i'm gonna upload that soon if you hadn't seen that if you hadn't seen my live reaction stream where i did a live reaction over nintendo direct of e3 of well nintendo direct their e3 press conference that'll be uploaded sometime well soon after this reaction video but again yeah you'll see it so all right yeah that's it for this video that was fun i like watching i need to still try to like i said still no siri no my phone again sorry so yeah that was super smash bros reaction that was a reaction video versus more super smash bros brawl i mean did i say brawl oops i meant ult ultimate yeah that was a reaction video for super smash bros ultimate still running around to play in this game and still trying to upload those videos hopefully i'll have that done before summer like i said i was gonna do in my last uh reaction video over super smash bros ultimate which was over joker yeah i did a reaction video over joker when they showed joker i was on april 16th yeah version 3.0 I did a reaction video over version 2.0. Now I did one over here. So, all right. Still gonna try and check this out. <clears throat> Still trying to do videos over it, like I said, since my second vlog. But, all right. We'll get to that, hopefully before the end of the summer. So, all right, yeah. I, I, I repeat myself anyway. All right, so that's it. Like, yeah, like I already said, let's get into this video version 4.0 is already out because it's already past uh august it's already way past july 30th it's august 1st as we record this but go check this out if you haven't booted it up here again yet. i can't imagine anyone who hasn't who has smash bros who hasn't booted up the game and started playing this already and checked out this hero they had the fighter pass which i have it too but like i guess i'm one of the people who haven't played this in a while or done this again as much as i'd like to since i said since my second vlog but anyway yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this reaction well it was just a presentation from soccer right that's all this was and i was just watching it like what? really yeah you know that's cool you saw this too i was like what the heck this hero character is kind of ridiculous what is with you soccer Ryan? well why are you making characters seem so freaking overpowered what the heck, man? This hero character, Dragon Quest. What? I have to check it out. I mean, you kind of explain the downsides and such. Like, but, all right. Yeah. Let me know what you thought about this reaction video in the comments down below. I already said that, right? If you liked it, you can take a this, smash into that like button. Ah! Or you can just, just slap it. Oh, just, just slap the like button. Oh, there you go. Just, just hit the like button. If you like the video, it's up to you, really. Yeah, it's up to you, right? So, or if you'd like to see more from me, you'd like to see any more of my other videos, or you'd like to see more of my re other reaction videos, my past reaction videos, or other videos like seasonal events, or any other random video I may do that's, I don't know, play through, walk through, or something. I do a lot of, I guess, of different things on my channel randomly from time to time, besides just seasonal events or reaction videos, so you like to see me that kind of stuff from here or more from me you can subscribe it's, it's really all up to you really yeah it's up to you but hey and yeah and so with that said <laughs> thanks for watching everybody <laughs> see you next time Bye. <laughs>